What is going on everyone? My name is Northy and today I'm doing something that I started not too long ago But I'm keeping up with it and making it a full term video because I have done shorts of this before and Specifically one game mode that you're gonna see in this video But I thought I'd find a few and make it a full video and see what you guys think of it Because I know a lot of you guys have been watching a bit of it Maybe you subscribed because you enjoyed the content I put out so I thought why not make it a full video It's doing pretty all right under shorts uh, the footy grids in particular But I'm hoping overall that you will enjoy what we do here today And I know a lot of people like to do it in their spare time play these types of games So we'll start off here see how we do and hopefully have a bit of fun So if you do find yourself enjoying the video today at any point be sure to leave a like on it Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like it and become a member if you really enjoy the channel as a whole but yeah thank you again for tuning in and let's get into our first game we are locked and loaded ready to go and this is a bit of an interesting one if you've seen a few of the ones I've been doing on my YouTube shorts as of recent it's been a mix of players and all that but this is six teams six different teams so it's gonna mean we're gonna have to try and get different players for each team so people who've played both Collingwood and Frio people who've played both Melbourne and Frio Collingwood Hawthorne and killed at Adelaide so it'll be a little difficult because I'm not amazing at it but I know a lot of people will probably have themselves some pretty good grids so this is honestly one of the harder ones because I'm not too like versed on every team but I'm keen to give it a go I'm probably gonna have a really really poor score in this one as well because I can only think of like one player for each one so like I think a lot of people think of Luke Jackson first off when this shows up so I'll try and stay away from him for this one I'd imagine a lot of people will be thinking oh, actually this one will be for a lot of people lucky Schultz Liam Henry here Jack Ginevan here okay so there's a lot of current day players that could be picked up I'm not gonna do that. Oh man, it is a little typical here. Jake Lever's probably one here that a lot of people would think about. Shane McAdam maybe. Yeah, like there'll be some that are easier and than others. Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to get my bearings with this game now. The first one I think of is the Melbourne Hawthorne link, Jordan Lewis. But I think Jordan would be too common. The good thing is this one is unlimited guesses. So I can kind of just have a guess at to who, as to who I think. But um, I don't want to like think too much or guess too much. I wonder how many people have picked Chris Main here. Oh, this could be a bit of a risky one. Chris Main. Uh, I'm scared. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, it's a bronze. It could have been worse. It could have been better. I think a lot of people would have gone for Lockie Schultz here. I feel like Chris Main was one of the easier ones for me, but it can only get more difficult. <laughs> Honestly, this could be one of my worst performances in a while. I feel like this could be a really tough one. <laughs> I wonder how many people have picked Shane McAdam. Now that I think about it, because Adelaide to Melbourne, I don't know how many people would have picked him. I know he's the most recent one, but Shane McAdam, how many people picked him? Wait, did McAdam, hold on. Shane McAdam definitely switched up between these two. Why can't I pick him? Why is Shane McAdam not allowed to be picked? I'm confused. That is, uh, that's a that's a definite yes. Well, then the other one is Jake Lever. <laughs> that's the only other one I can think of, Jake Lever. Oh man, I may as well go with Jordan Lewis here because I'm not going to get anyone else. I, I really am not going to get a single other person. Jordan Lewis. Oh man, like these are some really common scores. I do not know how to guess any of these. You know, I'm going to give this one up because this is going to be a horrible performance. I could not imagine who on earth could get a really good score here. I am awful with this one. I've done better on others, so I'm going to go random here and try and fix this up because... This feels wrong. All right, this looks a little better. We got Adelaide Crows. Yeah, we've got some actual mi mess, uh, some mix-ups, sorry. Here we go. Five plus clangers. That's an interesting one as well. <laughs> oh, please. Can I, like, surely Mason Cox, please. Oh, yes. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Essendon flight 5 plus clangers. There's a lot of people who could have done that. Oh man, this could be very, very. <laughs> this could be a lot. Got 10 plus marks though. Ooh. Ooh, this could be interesting. Love it, Murray. I don't know. I'm going to try and name off some random Essendon players that are coming to my head. <laughs> Angus Monfries. Has he had 10? He has! Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, we're off to a great start. Adelaide Crow's teammate. Was he a teammate with Elliot Himmelberg? I hope he was. Elliot Himmelberg. Woo! <laughs> we, are on, we are on fire now. We're doing very good. Elliot Himmelberg, he was a teammate with him. Okay. Good, Jake Kelly. We now have Essendon teammates, a very common Essendon teammate. My guess is going to be who is a teammate that is very new or very like unknown. I'm trying to just think of the most obscure one, but maybe not that obscure. Oh, my heart tells me Nick Cox, but like, I don't know whether that's going to be a good pick. Maybe Elijah Cetus. Oh, do we not have 
Elijah. Asatas, sorry, not to say Asatas. Oh, that is a lot more. Yeah, so that was my thinking. It's like, how uncommon do we want to go? Because if we go too uncommon, too many people would have thought of him. And Sardis is one of them. So I'm not surprised that we get a gold there. Ooh, and then grand final player alongside Jake Kelly. Okay, this could be a good one as well. So back when he was at Adelaide, we've got Lever, Eddie Betts, who's probably a common one. You got Taylor Walker. Do we go Sam O'Brien? That could be a half decent pick. Sorry, not Sam O'Brien, Sam Jacobs. I'm very silly. That's a lot more common than I thought as well. I'll take it, because it's less than 4%. Like, it's not the worst at all, but man, I did not expect that. I need an Essendon clanger guy. There's probably a few of them. <laughs> Why do I feel like Zerk Thatch is a good pick? It's because it is, baby. 1%. <laughs> Let's go. Brandon Zerk Thatcher. Not a bad pick at all. Now on for Adelaide. Now, I feel like there's a few that we could go for with Adelaide. I'm just trying to think really far. Like, how, like, who could it, who could be the most obscure clown? <laughs> Oh, I did not expect that. Adelaide Crows, Billy Frampton. Not bad. I was just thinking back to the grand final player one. And I'm like, Billy Frampton played for, for Adelaide, did he not? And he did. Yeah, 1% there. Another great pick. Oh, we've got two more with a rarity score of 14. That's like really solid so far. Now, 10 plus marks in a final. This one could be a little tougher than we'd like. The only one I can think here is Lever. Jake Lever. Because I feel like a lot of people would have picked him elsewhere. Jake Lever. Does this work for us? No, he didn't get 10 plus marks on a final. Okay. See, I've saved Jake Lever because he can be picked a lot here. He can be picked in a fair few spots, like teammate with Jake Kelly, probably the Clangers one, grand final player. He can be picked in there as well. Like Jake Lever is probably one that comes to mind for a lot of people, at least I think. And I also need to think of a full forward. My, my mind actually is telling me no, because Brennan Favola didn't play in a grand final. Damn it. Maybe Jaden Short? Like, that's a maybe? No, Jaden Short didn't play, ten, didn't get 10 marks, but he definitely played in a granny. I'm kind of thinking on that Richmond wavelength. Like, has Dion Prestia done something like that before? No. Has Nick Vlosten done that before? Yes, he has. There's two there. Okay. That's not the worst. Nick Vlost Vlostone. I think that's how it's pronounced. But that's 2%. That's okay. Definitely could have done worse there. I'm really happy that my worst one has been a little under 4% so far. But to make it a really good one, 10 plus marks for the Adelaide Crows in a final. To me, there's just too many, like, there's not too many good ones. Like, you've got your Tony Modras, and you're thinking of the ones back in the day. Maybe Andrew Jarman? Was it Jarman? It was, it, was it Andrew Jarman? Or was it a different Jarman? There's a few Jarmans. Darren Jarman, maybe? Oh, that's a lot higher than I thought he'd be. He's a silver. Okay. Ugh. I'll take a 23. I wish Darren wasn't that high, but I felt like that was a good pick. Either way, the average rarity is a 98.69. We got a 23.6, so clearly did pretty all right. I'm happy with that. I'm not mad at that whatsoever. Let's go to the next one. So another grid type game. We've got Gridly here, and this one I think is a bit more like personalized. This one is like you can, you've got leaderboards, you've got like people you, you can see, but this one's also very interesting. Have a look at this. Brother played. <laughs> Brother played. I, I'm very interested as to, to what that means exactly, but there's 26 po possible answers. I don't know if there's unlimited guesses. No, there isn't. There's nine guesses, so we could have a very poor outing here. But a Matt Crouch teammate for Adelaide. He has played... I think he, he hasn't just played for Adelaide, has he? Has he played for St. Kilda? Or was that Brad Crouch? I think it was Brad Crouch who moved from Adelaide to St. Kilda, so... That's one there. Maybe we can use Brad Crouch. <laughs> Brad Crouch, maybe? Hey, although it is common. <laughs> I felt smart. I'll tell you what, I felt smart. 150 plus games played. Also, Matt Crouch's teammate. Ooh, there's so many tough ones here. Maybe Eddie Betts. Do we want to go Eddie Betts here? Yeah, I'm going to do it. He's rare, 9.2. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. See, I don't want to, like, try and overdo it with this one, because I've got guesses. I can't, I can't really, like, get too meh with it. Ooh, I want to try and think of someone in the past. My mind goes to Gary Ablett, but I want to think of someone else. Ah, screw it, we're going to go Gary Ablett. Screw it, Gary Ablett Jr. Let's do it. Yes! We got ourselves a 1.5. Nice, I didn't think Gary would be so, like, little selected. I thought he'd be selected a lot more, but hey, we're taking that. 150 plus games played. 
with 20 plus handballs. I feel like I could, I've, I've got potential here. I just have to like really think back to like ones that are very obscure, super obscure. I'm thinking maybe Zaharakis. Can we get David Zaharakis here? Oh, oh, point one. Are you serious? Point one. <laughs> yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> the only one that I feel like is the like the most confident for me here is Rory Laird. But do we maybe go Dangerfield? Maybe switch it up with a bit of Dangerfield here? Do we try and think further back? The only one I'm thinking of is Dangerfield and Laird, but I feel like there's got to be someone else. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to think back to like the mid to late 2000s here. <laughs> I'm looking back because there's a, like, a particular Adelaide backman or midfielder that like I thought of, but I can't remember the name, but Scott Thompson showed up because I typed in Scott thinking that's one of his, that's his name, but Scott Thompson could actually be a shout here. Maybe. This is going to be a risk. Oh, we got it. 9%. There we are. I will take it. It's someone new. I do not know like whether that was the best choice, but I'm happy. It's probably better than Dangerfield. It's probably better than Laird, so I'm quite happy with that. For the 150 plus games play, you could probably go with one of the Danaher brothers, I feel like. Maybe a share. Oh, I don't know if Nathan Ablett had played. I don't know if he played 150. Don't think you can play 150 between. Yeah. Just looking at those dates, I don't think it's happened. Damn, these ones are 100% some of the toughest ones now. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> I'll go with the Scott brothers. One of the Scots? Brad Scott or Chris Scott? We'll go Chris Scott. Why not? Chris Scott. How's he doing? Probably been picked a bit, but see. Oh, Chris got a 1%. Okay, I didn't expect that. Happy days. And then best and fairest for a brother, Josh Dacos. Josh Dacos kind of seems like the one I think a lot of people have got. How many? There's 140 possible answers. Josh Dacos will be way too common. I gotta rack my brain for that one. 10 possible answers for Matt Crouch's best and fairest teammate. Man, I'm struggling with that one. I'm gonna have to go Rory Laird. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet there. Honestly, 12% is not as bad as I thought it'd be. Rory Led, I will take that. I will take a 12%. I will. Maybe for this one, I'll just go Elliot Himmelberg again. I did it in the other one. We'll do Elliot Himmelberg again. Yes! <laughs> it's so good. It works every time, Elliot. Elliot is my, is my like, legendary pick. <laughs> He's the one who always guaranteed a good score. <laughs> Now, just a best and fairest with the brother playing. We've already talked about Josh Dacos. Has Chad Warner won a best and fairest? I feel like that's too risky. Maybe Chad Corns. Do I just go all out with a risk? Oh, this is a tough one. There's 140 possible answers. Surely Chad Corns has won a best and fairest. That's it. I'm going Chad Corns. Is my risk, baby? No, I didn't get it. Oh, you bugger. I got eight correct. Are you serious? I would have gotten the Josh Dacos one right. But I don't know, what was, how many people picked Josh Dacos? <laughs> well, other than the bad pick towards the end, that's not a bad, that's not a bad score. I'm happy with that. I would have liked to have done uh, Dacos, but yeah. What if I undo that for the moment? Every day you get a chance to undo one get, undo a guess. Are you sure you want it? Yes, I'm going to undo that. And we're going to go with Dacos. What's, <laughs> what's Josh Dacos up to? He's the best and fairest winner. He is, yeah, 10%. That's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> I'll take that. Josh Dacos, 10%. Could have been worse, but that gives us 58.8. That's better. See the summary now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll take it. We'll take it. And now we are on my absolute worst one. This one is going to be a tough one. We've got Warpel. Warpel is like Pirtle for the NBA, if you know Pirtle. Basically, using only your like categories that you are given, you must guess the player that the daily silhouette is. So I'll show you the silhouette there. This is the silhouette of the player it is for the day, the mystery player. And using our guesses, we have to figure out who it is. So the name of the game, Warpel, means if we type in James Warpel, then it'll give us, I think, the best shot. I think that's how it works. Again, I don't play it that often, so <laughs> this could be interesting, but you can see. All these statistics means that he is not a midfielder. He is much higher debutant than 2018. A little bit taller than 186. The yellow means you're not far off. He is much younger than 25, uh, probably assumed considering the 2018 higher debut. Number five means that number needs to be higher, his jersey number. He is a Victorian, and he does not play for Hawthorne. And usually, if you're close, it's dependent on the colour scheme. So now, with that, I'm kind of thinking 
do we... Are we thinking a Collingwood player? Got to be a little taller and the debutant. Like, I want to try and find one of the colours at least. So, like, black or white usually is one of your best chances. But obviously, you don't want to have it so common that, like, you only... You whittle down your guesses to uh, 17 teams. <laughs> but it's a higher number than five. This is a little bit of a toughie. I'm going to go... If he's debuted much, much later. So, he debuted in 2022 or, like, earlier. So between 2022 and now, this person debuted. He's taller than 186. I kind of want to guess Sam Darcy. Maybe Sam Darcy could be a decent pick. Kind of get us a bit closer. And it is it is kind of... A, it, it shares a colour with the Western Bulldogs. He debuted in 2022. He's much shorter than 208, so probably could have gotten that. And, a, and he's between 5 and 10, so we know that for sure. Not a key forward. So red, white, and blue. Debuted in 2022. Oh, man, this could be tough. This could be really tough. Diesel debuted last year. Dacos the year before. So I'm trying to think of the Dacos year. There's so many good debutants in, in that year. I'm j I can only think of Nick Dacos so far. That's like the closest I can get here to maybe try and find a different player. Oh, what number is he? He's 35, so definitely like, that won't help. No, I'm not going to do that guess. Honestly, I feel like the best chance of me getting this is locking down the team. When I can find out what team it is, then I feel like we're we're at somewhere. Logan McDonald could be... Oh, no, but it's not a key forward. I can't guess that. Torian as well. So that would have been bad. I'm thinking maybe Sam Durham. Sam Durham. Oh, what number is Sam Durham? Oh, I hate this. <laughs> no, Durham's definitely... Yeah, Durham's over Jersey 10. What about... Adam Chera. Adam Chera. That's my next guess, I think. Oh, this is so tough. This is so, so tough. Victorian, not Carlton. So it's not blue. Midfielder. What? And he debuted in 2018. Oh my god, I'm not smart. I am not smart. <laughs> I am such a dummy. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I cannot tell for the life of me who this is. And I'm sure you guys are screaming. You are screaming at your computers as to who it is. But I am lost. <laughs> oh, this might be another bad guess, but my only thinking right now is Nicea. When did Nicea... Oh, I don't know. This could be another bad guess, but I need to try and make some some moves here. Nice how am I gonna Malira? Are we close? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I got it! Bang on! <laughs> I do not know how I did that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was such a lucky guess. I've been so lost for so long. I can't believe I got that. Nice how am gonna Malira? That was. A rough time. I thought was thinking for so long. My honest to god thought was like, is he between numbers five and ten? So I can whittle it down. <laughs> it was not damn, is this an Isaiah? <laughs> it was not at all, man. That's crazy. In four guesses, I'm taking that every day of the week. Oh man, debut 2022. Right in the in the sweet spot between 186 and 188. He's 21 years old. I think, yeah, I just need to find the team. And I'd completely forgotten about St. Kilda. So I thought, ah, oh, some earlier kids who maybe played back then or started back then. And Isaiah was the first one that came to mind and got him. Bang! Well, that was good fun. That definitely got my brain turning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one with me. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel again if you are new. If you guys want to see more content like this, absolutely go ahead and let me know. I enjoyed doing this one, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the short coming up and enjoy this video. So yeah, thank you again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.